This program is brought to you by Emory University. I would think of the Mars system as a liver dialysis system. So we are um, all familiar with, to some degree, with conventional hemodialysis, which is a way to support a failing kidney, where the um, artificial dialysis system takes over the function of purifying the blood that the kidney would normally do. The Mars system is basically an extension of that dialysis system by putting in a, another dialysis membrane in connection with the conventional hemodialysis membrane that then is able to filter toxins um, that are typically dependent on the, on the liver to uh, clear the bloodstream. And the specific sol the solute or the, the mode that is used in the liver dialysis system is albumin, um, which then is able to um, absorb molecules and to, or, to or toxins, liver-related toxins, that normally would not be cleared by regular hemodialysis. So currently in the U.S., the Mars system is approved for the treatment of acute liver failure due to drugs or toxins. Um, so we can look at that in one of two ways. One is as an alternative to transplantation. Um, or the second is as a bridge to transplantation. We just give enough time um, to stabilize the patient before they receive eventual, eventual therapy with transplantation. So I would look at uh, sort of two um, uh, potential roles of the Mars system in acute liver failure. Currently in the U.S., the Mars system is approved for the treatment of acute liver failure uh, due to drugs or toxins. Um, examples of this would be um, acute liver failure due to acetaminophen overdose, which is the commonest indication for drug-induced liver injury. Uh, we've also had um, cases of acute liver failure due to various other drugs, such as uh, antibiotics, um, anti-seizure medications. Um, so all this will come under the purview of drug-induced liver injury that is potentially treatable with Mars therapy. A couple of things we're looking for um, before taking somebody to surgery in general, and transplantation in particular, is a stable um, blood pressure, um, stable lung function, uh, and typically on the ventilator they need to have minimal requirements. So there is data to support that the Mars system can actually stabilize both your cardiac and your pulmonary um, systems. And so uh, in that context, the Mars system may be useful to stabilize the acutely ill um, patient with liver failure uh, and optimize those two organ systems before they go to uh, liver transplantation. The other way they can help is to reverse or stabilize the coagulopathy, the degree of um, um, the risk of bleeding that can happen with liver failure. And so the Mars system can stabilize that component uh, before, tr before surgery. The good thing about liver inflammation is that it's, it can, the liver can regenerate. So once you have any insult to the liver, it can potentially recover after you give it some support. So in the context that we use the Mars system for, we give th three days of therapy, uh, which I think give the patient enough time for her intrinsic liver function to recover. And after two, three days of therapy, her liver function stabilized without any continued need for dialysis support. So this is a bit different from uh, kidney hemodialysis, where typically if a patient is in renal failure, they need continued support for prolonged periods of time. I'm very hopeful. I think the data is, um, is growing. In, especially in the European literature about its efficacy of treatment of chronic liver disease. And I think it'll be a matter of time before um, it'll be approved in the U.S. for similar indications. I think it's been an um, institutional commitment to explore new ways of um, supporting um, organs, failing organs, including apart from transplantation. Um, and I think this is one example of the commitment of the institution and the faculty to 
uh, push the frontiers of, of uh, liver support. Um, and uh, I have a personal interest in liver disease and liver failure, um, being both a hepatologist and an intensivist. So uh, I think all those have come together to enable us to acquire this, uh, this treatment modality. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.